hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel so guys in this video we'll be learning about how to create an event calendar okay event calendar is nothing but the full calendar of the laravel okay it is available so first thing uh, i'll show you what is that full calendar so full full calendar in laravel okay so first option we are getting on the github let's click on that and the procedure are over here okay so how to install and work with this so i'm going to tell you that so guys before starting i will tell you that you have to create your one project right so let's create laravel new your uh, name okay i mean your laravel project name so i'll give event calendar so before that creating you should see your exam ht docs so i'm creating into my ht exam okay so just give enter and it will get creating okay so it started now so crafting application so guys it takes time okay so mm, it's loading i mean it's getting installed okay so let's wait for that screen on this okay so it's getting created now so after installation for run perfectly so guys now the application is built okay application is ready so build something amazing after this uh, i'll clear this here we are clear and it is getting clear okay so now we have to open your file so go into hd docs i mean c drive to my exam i use exam and inside hd docs we have created an event calendar okay so i'm opening that folder so this is my root okay so i have got my files so i'll open this with the my editor okay so it's loading and yeah so it's open now so my event calendar is ready i mean your project is ready now so now we will be doing with the things that how the event calendar works so guys after creating the project you have to go to the site of this okay madasal laravel full calendar okay so now we will do the installation okay for that i mean that event calendar okay so copy this and paste it into your command not here you have to change your drive that is uh, event calendar okay you enter and your it's ready so now my this thing will be ready okay i'll close this so i'll close this one and this is our form and let's create the i mean install the good copy and go to the bash and paste and give enter okay so our things will get running okay so it's loading i mean it's getting installed i think oh, come on dude so it's installing now it takes time guys to install into the event calendar of your project okay so composer json has been updated now it is getting and it is updating its dependencies of the full calendar okay so it's still loading it should come of the come out of the terminal okay so after that we can work it work with the full calendar okay it's still loading guys it is getting its dependencies and we are installing and loading from cache and it will get it will get exited outside okay so now it's executing something so after the completion of this execution then we can use the uh, event calendar or full calendar in the laravel okay you have to wait guys because it takes from the net right so it takes time okay yeah okay it's still loading 
come on dude finish it sir still loading generating optimized auto load files okay yes guys now it is completed okay package manifest generated successfully okay now let's use the our project okay so let's get started with that so guys first step was that installation okay so after installation then this is already done and now we are going to add this line into your app.php file inside providers okay so let's go back so inside so inside config file there is one app.php file so i am opening that and yeah after opening let's go to what this file let's check out which file is that okay app.php itself only inside config file app.php so where is that yeah so here we are getting the providers so under that provider we are going to add that line okay so we will be adding over here under this provider okay this provider so we will be adding that what is the code so we have to copy this control c and paste over your project done okay so this is for your full calendar done calendar or event calendar okay full or event calendar done and now next step is that go to the chrome check so next is create an alias so just copy this and control c and go to your project under that inside config file app.php there is a alias after providers okay so after provider alias inside that we have to paste it over here control v done okay so this is also for event or full calendar okay so save it and let's go back to the documentation and start using of your full calendar okay so guys now let's get started with that our coding part now the setup has been done okay so what and all we need setting for this it's set installed and done okay so let's create one file into the resource folder go to views inside that we'll create one file okay new file so i'll create one event page dot blade dot php give enter so now form is ready so before this creating form you have to work with your uh, like controller models and migrations okay so let's get started with that so first thing i am going to create the uh, table okay so i am going to clear this and now we are going to create the table okay php artisan serve uh, not serve php artisan make migration what you are going to make your migrate create events yes yes is very important okay so this yes is very important you have to include yes that is table okay now give enter and your table will be created okay so created migration at create events table okay so now let's go and check out so inside app not inside app inside database inside migrations there will be one table okay that is events table so click on that and your table is ready over here okay now save the pro uh, save the project and you have to add some contents into it okay so those contents are so we will copy this and paste paste what oops so i'm going to copy this again once again so control c paste paste so first thing is that i'll give title and next is for color and start 
date and one is for end date okay so i'll just control c if and that is end date okay done and uh, yeah so we will change it as string so i'll just copy paste control c control v okay and over here i'm going to give date okay because it is date now so i'll just give date and yeah guys so now we have to push this table into your database so before pushing you have to create one database in your local host okay so let's start with that so guys uh, this is over here and we'll create one new database for our project okay so this is our project so we are going to create over here okay so it's loading so we will create the table as event calendar okay so calendar and uh, let's create and uh, processing the request yep data event calendar has been created where is that event calendar okay so we have got over here event calendar okay so now let's go to back to our code and we will migrate this okay so what we are going to do is that and now we'll migrate this table into that okay so before migrating what you have to do you have to go to your env file that is dot env file inside that you have to set your localhost okay so localhost and your database name okay so database name is nothing but event calendar dar so event calendar and the password is i don't know oops sorry guys we have to database name is event calendar password is root and oh, i'm very sorry guys username is root and database name is event calendar password i don't have so i just leave it so if you are doing any images you can put just 8000 over here okay so just save and now env file connection has been done okay so now is that we will migrate the table okay to for that so just give php artisan migrate migrate okay now give enter so after giving enter migration table let us view the full thing and let's read after giving migration syntax error that is specified two long keys maximum length okay so just copy this let's, okay where is that okay max length okay so just copy that copy go to your google chrome and paste give enter and you will get the for that there is one code come on load, load it fast so um, yeah we got the, the same error and for that the solution is this okay so you have to go to your app service provider dot php okay and edit with that so just copy control c and go back to your code and so go inside your app providers inside that app service provider okay so inside that you have to give this paste and now copy the second thing that is the 191 length okay so just go to your boot okay and paste it done so now error has been solved okay so but our table is got migrated that we it is did not declare that so what i am going to do is that first i'll clear and we'll do one more time php migrate okay so let us see if it is migrated it will tell you the error that is already migrated okay or else it will execute 
normal thing okay so come on load it fast hmm it's giving the error that base table already view exist okay so it is already exist i mean it is already migrated okay so what we'll do is that now we'll go to our database and check whether the data are present so these are our event calendar let's click on that and there are two tables so let's drop those tables and we'll migrate it once again okay okay drop so processing request come on do load it fast and we'll drop this also drop okay yeah so our tables are uh, it is an empty table now empty database so guys before if you are not setting that you will face this kind of errors okay so now let's clear with the bash and now i'm going to give php artisan send my great okay so now come on dude yeah so our table is created now okay so you can find your here, here right now our table is set so guys now our table is migrated now you can do everything what you want to like how to add the event or update the event and delete the event from the blade file okay so for that please watch out the next video which is uh, uh, available in the playlist okay so i'll continue in that okay so just watch out